sorry about that. You may or may not have crashed my Minecraft. Just a little bit. So, uh... Probably not gonna try opening this up again. God damn it. That's actually a bit disappointing. I was hoping that it would, yeah, be okay. Sorry about that, the microwave getting done, someone's microwaving something. gonna grab like half a stack of redstone or something. So I have enough to do stuff. Now hopefully this doesn't crash my Minecraft. Oh good. Okay, well that's actually really really nice and useful. Okay. Mm well. <laughs> Luckily that doesn't crash anything. Okay, so I've got the climatizer. I'm not going to make the indexer because that supposedly crashes the server. I might make it off camera. I think I'll probably make that off camera so that I don't crash any servers. At least not on, so I don't crash it on camera. And I'll, t I'll tell you if it works, I guess. Okay, so... have some I haven't actually been in a call with Ryan for a little while because he sort of got a bit angry at us when we uh, sucked up half his house with a black hole. Oops. Shite. So I need APRS machine. Oh, oops. And that should be enough for whatever. Go, go, wait, actually, I have some copper in here, don't I? No, but I do have some bronze. Okay. I can live with that. Pause the recording, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Stupid fucking cat. God damn it. I need some lapis too. So I'll get like eight lapis, okay. See that's what like I don't I don't like vanilla because I don't feel like anything has any uses. Like what are you what are you gonna use lapis for in vanilla? Dye? I mean that's not really very useful. 
Now let's see if this has anything. No, no, no GUI. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very familiar with this crap. So let me bear, bear with me. Yeah. I don't really need an advanced genetic um, sequencer, splicer, gene pool. I think I might make. Which means I need to go get a couple pieces of gold. Oh, oops. find my list of, well not my list, but my area with all the extra bees crap again. Okay. So I sort of want to make the gene pool. Got it. Do I have glass in here? I do. This is where I put my glass. Good. I'm probably going to end up just making all these machines and then finding out that some of them are fairly useless. But this one, I'm pretty sure is the one... Yeah, I think this is the one that makes... Yeah, this one makes liquid DNA, which will be useful. Also, <laughs> before we go any further with extra bees... Oh, no, wrong tank. I almost got a full oil tank, which means that I'm going to start doing... I'm start going to start refining it soon so that I can get more oil, so I can get more fuel. Okay, so... Now the splicer... Need some diamonds for that, okay. And I'm pretty sure that one of these... Not wrong. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure that there's... A machine that takes, yeah, there it is, the isolator, which takes these, which I'll make sometime, I guess. Probably not this episode. I didn't grab enough, did I? Where's the, I accidentally grabbed two, okay. APRS machine. Whatever, I'll just make two, the other two. Now, let me go get some more redstone. Some more, like, four tin. Ah, uh, lapis, not redstone. Got it. Uh -oh. Splicer.
you know, I'm thinking that I might take this episode a little long and just split it into two. Because bees might take a little bit. As far as, like, yeah. But it just depends on how, how long the episode is. I'm gonna actually pause the recording. Okay, you two, I'm back. I just had to check how long my video had been going. Because I don't really want to make a super long video again. As I have been doing. Oh, that might actually be a problem. I don't have much glowstone. And apparently not much glass either. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I actually haven't been to the nether yet. I had some glowstone that I got from Ryan's old crap. Where's the port? There it is. This will be interesting. I don't remember this part glow effect. Oh, it's because I'm playing on short render distance because I was getting a good amount of lag. That's why it's laggy. <laughs> or it was lagging. Yeah. Now, I'm thinking that next episode I might actually just explore the nether because there's quite a few things that you need a, um, what is it? Uh, some, like, nether brick, or, like, anything that you can find in a nether fortress. Like I'm already halfway home when the uh, like nether sound effect is already done. Yeah, I don't I don't know how much more is in the way of like well as far as dual comms I will do with Quinn until I can get a a better recording software that doesn't get out out of sync because for some reason my videos the audio end, always ends up out of sync when I do it with Quinn. So I'm going to uh, probably I do like this bullshit. Okay. Well, <clears throat> do I have all the sequence? Should I make should I make a gen an indexer? I think I will, just because I'm gonna go jack some wood from Quinn because I don't have any. We should have some wood out here. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's got a lot of wood. Now here's my problem, is that these little buggers right here like to take shit tons of power. And that's sort of a problem, because I don't have completely, uh, sustainable power because it's solar and so at night my power goes fucking down. Luckily I have an MFE or an MFSU, so it's not that bad. But almost full, full, almost full, full. Yeah, I'm gonna turn off my electric engines probably by the end of this video, because it'll be done. Wrong 
chest. I would actually rather... I need to... I think in between episodes I'm going to try and organize this shit because it's getting ridiculous. I've just got crap everywhere. I like how fast the sawmill works. Yeah, I'm going to try the indexer and hopefully it doesn't crash. But with my luck, I'm sure it will. Now, what else did I need for the indexer? Oh, redstone, okay. Please don't crash the game, indexer. Plurs. Yay. You know what that means. Now, I'm not sure actually how many of you get people are going to know what the indexer does. But, I'll try and explain all the machines that I have that I know what do. So, what's this? This is the acclimatizer. This allows you to make it so that your bees can live in higher or lower like humidity and temperature than they're used to. This just tells you, like, your, uh, this is a database of what your, hmm. This is a database of, like, all, what species you found. This, um, let me try, oh, I don't have power, do I? Well, this turns bees into liquid DNA. The splicer, I'm not sure what this one does. I think it might take out, um, like gene like uh traits and put them in a serum the sequencer i think puts the serums into a bee the indexer stores infinite bees it yeah there's no limit also before i end off this uh, this episode okay we're back i just <clears throat> had to help ryan with something He's fairly new with industrial craft, so he didn't know that he had to transform his power down. Now, let's... I'm going to wrap up this video fairly soon. There's one more thing I want to do. When I get home, finally. That is, so I, okay, I can live with that. Yeah. Alas, and hopefully my modest bees have been producing. Now, if I remember right, okay, and then APR's backpack, which is what I want. Since I already have an indexer, the backpack is more useful to me. I need wool, strain sticks. Okay, got it. Now this just holds bees, and only bees. And also it apparently... Hmm. 
interesting. I don't know why it has that number right there. But, okay. And I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you guys next time.